So let's say you go to take a nice big old dab and when you go to take it, you know what? It's a little bit too hot. You burned it a little bit. If you're doing a hot start, maybe you put it on a little bit too early. You didn't have a thermometer or a timer. You just went a little bit too early and it burned it on. Maybe you're doing a cold start and you saw it bubbling. You saw that wax bubble and produce a little bit of vapor and you just held the torch there for just like a second too long. You burned a little bit of the dab on there. You went ahead and you wiped it off with a Q-tip. You got whatever residue was there, but that spot is still there. So you're like, you know what? Let me get a little isopropyl on the next Q-tip and wipe it with alcohol. But you wipe with alcohol and that spot is still there. What do you do? What do you do? I swear to God, if you just said, oh, bro, just torch it off. Just hit it with the torch until it's gone. It'll be just fine. I'm going to find you, confiscate every bit of flour and concentrate you have in all of your glassware. You're done, buddy. You're done. Bro, just torch your nail off. It'll be fine. You're going to torch everything off. That is way too many people's method for cleaning their nail. And it literally doesn't work. It does not work. There's no such thing as torching it off of your banger. You're literally torching it on. You have a little bit of residue left over there. When you burn it with the torch, sure, you're seeing some of it burn off. But there's a tiny little bit of residue. Maybe it's 5%. Maybe it's 2%. But a tiny little bit of residue just stays on your nail. It's there. It lives there forever. And the more that you do that, the more that it builds up and the easier that it builds up. And then you just have this cloudy white nail that gets really dark. You can't see through it anymore. Your dabs taste terrible. And then you go on to tell the next person, yeah, bro, just torch your nail off. You'll have a perfect quartz banger like me. Listen, Chaz, there's a better way to do it. So I'm going to tell you about one of my methods that I use for keeping and maintaining my quartz bangers. You see, a lot of people think that if you Chaz your banger, it's done. It's not done. But if you go to torch it off, if you think that your torch is your cleaning solution and that's going to be all that you need to keep your nail clean, you're going to ruin your nail. You're going to have a crappy nail after like a few weeks and then you're going to want to buy a new one because your nail sucks. So the method that I use for keeping and maintaining my nails, I, I usually, I don't have to use it all the time because if you're doing dabs at proper temperatures, you can typically wipe it off with a dry Q-tip. I do a lot of cold starts. So I've been using this dab ready device that doesn't overheat it. So like dry Q-tipping is a pretty good way to keep it clean. You know, you can use isopropyl, which does evaporate at room temperature. If you wipe your nail off with ISO and you wait a little bit, for the most part, it evaporates off. But in the situation that you just burn a spot onto your nail, as long as you don't try to torch it off, and remove that spot with flames, you can remove it and there's a much better way to do it. So instead of flames, instead of a big old butane torch, instead of a big old flame to remove the spot on your nail, guess what you're gonna use? J just take a guess before I tell you. Guess what you're gonna use? Instead of fire, guess. Did you say water? Did you say I'm gonna try water instead of fire? If you said that, you're pretty smart. You're pretty, you're pretty friggin' smart. So the method that I use to keep my nails clean and maintain it, if I'm ever in a spot where I burn it a little bit, this even works if you've had a spot on your nail for a while and you keep using it, so long as you don't try to torch it off because that ruins it. Boil water on your nail. No, I'm not talking put it in a big pot and boil it with your spaghetti. You could probably do that, but there's a quicker and easier way to do it. Fill up half your banger dish with water. Just put a little water in there. Maybe it's enough to match the height of a turp pearl. You want to boil water slowly on your nail. You got a dark spot on there. Don't torch it off. Boil water on your nail. This isn't like a super quick process all the time. Sometimes I boil water and the second it starts to bubble, any spots on my nail just let go. They remove and then I see them floating in the water that's boiling and then I wipe it away and I have a pristine nail. But sometimes it takes a while. With this device that I mentioned, this dab ready, it doesn't over torch, but it doesn't do cold start. So if there's a little bit of residue left on there, it'll just start to like make it hard, burn it up. This happens with a torch too. If you just scorch it a little, you overdo your cold start or your hot start. You just put it on a little bit too early. You can burn spots onto the nail and it'll build up and it'll build up on top of itself. But torching it off won't remove it. Torching it off will minimize it, but it'll keep a portion of it on the nail. When you boil water on your nail, you're getting everything warmer, obviously. It's easier to remove the buildup when it's warmed up. But also that boiling water interacts with the wax, makes it softer, and it makes it easier to wipe off. Sometimes you need to use something a little bit tougher, like a little metal dab tool. Scrape it a little bit. You don't want to put a bunch of force into it and scrape it off and act like you're trying to ruin it. But when you boil water on there a little bit, you might need something a little bit firmer. 
poke at it, scrape it lightly to remove. But I did this last night on my Twitch stream. If you don't follow me on Twitch, I do a smoke sesh every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Link your Amazon Prime and give me Jeff Bezos money. But I usually keep and maintain my nails like this. And people are always like, why are you boiling water on your nail? And it literally, if you have spots on your nail, is the best way to remove them. You don't need ISO to do it. You don't need anything fancy to do it. You just put a little bit of water in your nail and then you hit it like you would a cold start, torch it for a little bit until you see the water start to boil. This isn't a quick process like I mentioned. You wanna do it a little bit slower. Unlike a, a nail in worse condition, you might need to boil the water for three or four minutes. You might need to boil a few sets of water, but try to do like a slow boil on your nail got a thick layer of buildup on it this might not work for you although it literally still can i've done it on old nails and some of the quartz out there is pretty forgiving if you got it in really bad shape sometimes you can boil some of it off but like i said it might take a little bit longer those really bad quartz nails or those really badly chaz ones that are like foggy white some of that can just be scraped off. It's a bit more work, but some of that can be scraped off. That should show you that when you're when you're burning it, when you think you're burning it off, you're really just burning it on because it layers up, it layers up, and then eventually your whole nail is just covered in this layer of stuff that you claim that you burnt off. Now, one other thing I will mention, if your nail is in really bad shape, there's this like cheap cleaner out there called Barkeeper's Friend. It's like a multi-purpose cleaner for like porcelain and ceramic and steel and stuff like that. But you can put it in a very badly chazzed nail and start to clean it with it and it will remove it pretty well but that's how i keep my nails clean that's how i maintain my bangers i don't start freaking out if i burnt the dab a little bit or if i got a spot on my nail i don't start blasting it and getting it red hot thinking that i'm gonna burn the mess away now this method is mostly for bangers you could use this for a slurper but you might need to boil it in something else it's a little bit harder to handle but for bangers this is a really great method is this something you've ever heard about have you ever heard anybody talking about boiling water on your banger i feel like i've I've never heard anybody talk about it and it's something i've been doing for years leave a comment let me know come get high with me tonight i go live on twitch every night at 9 p.m eastern and if you want to hear my thoughts on quartz bangers versus slurpers check out this video right here two of the more common types of nails but they are a bit different have a lit day my dudes